Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Growing Pains. It is Bazinga and Fizzle K. Yes. Woohoo, how's we are it here. been? Uh, it's been good, thank you. How's yours been? Yeah, good. Amazing. Wow. Do you know what? It felt like a Saturday on a Monday and now I'm just so confused where I am and what I've done. And Well, yeah, I, I've woken up. Well, last night I was struck by a feverish type thing. So I'm actually, I'm negative vibes right now. I'm not, today vibes. I am not, I'm not slaying. Mm. I do not feel a slay today. No. Well, I mean, no. I had bad cough or whatever like two weeks ago. Yeah, but you've always got a cough. You sound like you smoke 20 a day. Like, yeah, you just everyone cough. says this. When i done my stable dates with Cole, we went, do you vape? And I was like, yeah, no. Yeah, you, you just cough like that. <laughs> no, because when I laugh, like that smoker laugh comes out. Yeah, but, but even your cough sounds like from the depths, like there's something clogging your lungs. Right, well, that's not saying you say someone with health anxiety, but thank you very much. No, I'm sure it's right. just a little tickle. You'll be grand. Yeah. But yeah, I've been smited by something. Yeah, well, Olive's had a fever as well, so yeah, and my, have just got a little... My whoop was telling me bad things. Yeah. My, my whoop, Faith doesn't like me. No, whoop. I hate it because it's just such a cop-out, like you've so got cold. usually I only ever end up in the red when I've drunk or something like that. I'm on 18% in the red. My HRV is 60. It's never 60. I'm always up at like 80s, 90s, 100s. Uh, my four out of five metrics are elevated. Mm. Uh, so my resp- resp- respiratory rate, so that's breathing. Yes, I know that. Uh, is uh, 18.8 from 18.2. Uh, my resting heart rate is very elevated. Yeah. Up to 64. Mm. Horror. Uh, my HRV, very low. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like 15 lower. Uh, my skin temperature from baseline is plus two degrees. That's how you can tell I am in... And I feel like I've been kicked the shit out of... Uh, I've never I, yeah, I've, I've I never really been beaten up, but I can imagine this is what it feels like, being beaten up. Yeah, I don't know why I wouldn't love that. That was so interesting for me. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> you... Yeah, what's been going on in your life? How are you feeling? I don't know. Let me check my calendar. What the hell have I done this week? I've actually, <laughs> I've actually been busy all week. I've had one of them weeks um, I'll tell you where what I've I just did. done something every day. I picked up my car... Oh, you did do that. I picked up my car. I picked up my very, very lovely car. And holy smokes, do I love my car. Yeah. It. I, I drove it here today. Yeah. And I had to get out and do a wee. Yep, took a picture of that. Did you? Yep, for the reels. Great, amazing. <laughs> um, I got out to do a wee because I got a tiny about it. And even when I'm weeing, I'm looking thinking, oh, wow. Yeah. Like, it just looks incredible yeah that's mine it does I, look good yeah wow yeah um yeah wrapped and modified looks absolutely amazing got a got a different color got a little carbon body kit i saw i saw someone's um comment under yanni's it's like a tiktok repost mm. and i was like this is the best urus on the road in london oh uh, yeah uh, yeah i just thought i'd tell you that just to pick up your mood a little bit oh uh, yeah like they're gonna put that quote on their website as well <laughs> yeah there's like never we've never had a customer come in pick up their car and go oh <laughs> uh, that's what it look that's an oof. yeah no uh, that's good that's good you're gonna wrap mine to match no why um uh, you, you i don't need already, any of the carbon no you'd, you'd already just spoke great you'd already spoke something about sort when yours yeah, you're I getting, did, and then they just disappeared you're getting discount, the earth, man. So you'll be where, fine, but i don't know where they've gone and i couldn't remember their name so any car wrap companies <laughs> dub customs <laughs> oh is that where they were yeah. i'll look for it there maybe i'll miss the message stuff. Sorry, guys. I'm actually I'm I'm no good today. Yeah, Sorry, I'm going to yawn and all sorts. Too high. Uh, his heart rate's a lot. little bit off. Like, uh, you looked at your calendar. What did slack. you do? Oh, I don't write anything down. Yeah, yeah I looked at my calendar, that. and honestly, oh, it's so annoying. I book every because I don't write. For, mm, dyslexic because I don't write anything down. Right, mm. everyone turns up on the same day. Yeah, I'm well aware of this, and I'm like, why is everyone at my house? You did that. <laughs> it all like most of the time and I have three days spare in the week and everyone comes on the same day because you've told them to yeah mad well I had the horse dentist and then I had the horse massage lady and then I had Cole Anderson turn up for a stable dates yeah and I'm like sorry horse dentist we're just going to film right in front of you you do your thing yeah you are bad for that and I always try and say to you I was like how did you envision today going with all of these different people well here? I bought planner from Waterstones is it right that you haven't opened I have I wrote all my stuff in a week down did you yes I've just not opened it since I wrote it down. <laughs> but I knew I had podcast today, so I don't have to open it today. And tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. Easy. Remember that. Are you? Yeah. In the morning. Because I asked you if you had if you had work and you do, which is annoying because now I've got to take Olive with me and she yeah. destroys their salon. Oh, good. I was about to say, yeah. I I've have got... to ask because when it's a little bit of a longer hair session, yeah. I'm like, okay. Ethan's what you have done to it? Well, here we go. Concern. 
No, not concerned. Just this. I'm gonna go blue hair feminist. <laughs> Shock. <laughs> Shock. <laughs> it's Fucking funny. Whenever Ethan, we drive somewhere, that Ethan from the side man makes me sick. Yeah. Whenever we drive past someone with blue hair, he goes, "Bet she hates me." Oh yeah, they, they, she hates me. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not doing that. Um, the roots of my hair, as you can probably see, you're here, ginger. They're ginger. You're ginger. Why? You this? love ginger so much. That you I've got a ginger it. dog, ginger horse, ginger man. Shag a ginger. You become a ginger. Yeah. You. you well, technically, my, oh, my, my God. DNA is in you. Yes. I was just about to say it's me. I can, because I've birthed your child, yes. carried and grown. That's my DNA, yeah. Yeah, I'm I have you. your DNA inside me. I'm in you. Yeah. I I'm can actually, because of your eczema and stuff, I can now get that because of your shitty streams are all in me. I'm in you. Yeah. I am in you. Hold that. This is like, you know when people breed dogs and they will only breed the best of dogs? That's why. I'm pedigree. You've got eczema, asthma. Here we go. And what else? Lazy eye. Yeah, uh, eczema, asthma, psoriasis. You've got that. On hay yourself. fever. Hay fever. Um, IBS. IBS. This is what I'm saying. I've I've bred with on paper. If I went to like a sperm donation clinic, whatever. Don't call me like a sperm seat bank. Here. No, but if there was a letter in it, said I'd probably put it back down. That's horrible. That, that's really nasty. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Five for eight, it's got asthma, hay fever, eczema, and psoriasis. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, that sounds and guess great. What? Breed I, with I me. I somehow pull this together and fucking look good. <laughs> yeah. No, you do. You rock it well. Thank you very much. I do, actually. There, you, there's never been a... When, when I've got my normal hair colour, there's never been a man with, like, brown hair, white eyebrows, ginger beard that looks and this good. And five eight. Yeah. Yeah. Five eight and a bit, but it's... Be real I don't know. It is a bit. Uh, in my old age, though, the bit's going. I think I'm getting closer and closer to being like hunched over and old. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm still youthful. So I'm still youthful. up straight and I'm still youthful. Up straight and standing. Yeah. Anyway, but my hair. Oh, you asked did you hear that? I, that was my I did hear ankle. that. Oh. Yeah, your whoop's probably going to tell you about that in a minute. Yeah, it's going to go it. alert, alert. You're breaking down. <laughs> um, so my hair, back to the important stuff. You're going brown. Then. It is brown already. No, so I love this bit of colour, the mids to ends. I just don't love the radiance of a luminous ginger at the top. Yeah, you are actually orange. It, bro. <laughs> it's fully orange. Honestly, I took a TikTok the other day and it was like, I would glow in the dark. Mm. It's fucking a joke. My hairdresser actually messaged me. She's like, have you put anything on your hair? I'm not going to tell you off. Yeah. But like, have you seen someone else? It gets, it makes me feel like I'm cheating. Wow. Have you seen someone else? Like, I won't mind. Yeah. I was like, honestly, I've put nothing on it. So what Every are you doing? Every time my hair goes brown, it goes what ginger. What are you doing so, I want to keep this level of colour. Like, I love this bit because the whole point is low maintenance and I don't want, I just want my hair to grow. Right. I don't want to have to keep going to hairdressers. And I found a colour that I love. I just don't love this bit. So, we're going to put some highlights in it. Highlights? Yeah. Wow. Not blonde, blonde, but like just to hopefully break up the gin ginger part. Oh my God. And I need an operation. Oh shit. Yeah, that's major news. So, this isn't actually anything to do with the Faith health scare across the last two weeks. No. This is uh, Faith has a thing called clostatoma. In my ear, yeah. Which is like a disease that grows over like the bony in the ear and all that, right? Slay. So, yeah. So, I had it in 2020, high yeah. COVID. Couldn't yeah. get an operation for absolutely ages. Well, that operation was long. I know. Long. I know. It was like six hours. Seven. Seven. Yeah, it was a joke. Anyway, um, so I went in, but because it was COVID, they I was at like the top. As soon mm. as they said you can have an operation, I had mine done, didn't I? Yeah. I was at the top of his list. But I was like the first one back since they could do it. Mm. Um, but then because of COVID, I couldn't then get a checkup no. because I was too busy. Didn't book me in. They thought, yeah, shadow op operation. Yeah. Fuck off. Um, so then I he cleaned my ear, funnily enough. Mm. Like, in December, because I was like, well, I've not had my checkup, so can you see me now just to have a little look at what's going on? He looked at it and went, hmm. He's like, we should probably do audiology and a scan. Oh. And I was like, well, that doesn't sound great. He had to proper clean my ear out, bro. It's gross. You got really small ears too. I know. You got but this like, is like dweeby peak. little ears. Look, they're so small. You do have proper dweeby My piercer ears. wouldn't pierce ears for like three years. And I was like, just fucking You're pierce like a pixie. it. Because he was scared he was going to rip my ear and then I'd... Mm. anyways I went for a scan, uh, scan and then I went for private health and I said can you clean my ear because this part is gross I was like it feels like it's Stinks. bleeding and something's trickling down my ear but then it'll all crust out it'll be like dark Stinks. red orange and it stinks yes thank you for that part um, and I was like it's just a little Stinky. bit gross um, and my ear would block as well like the liquid would block yeah. my ear and he went oh okay so you've had your scan pulled it up looked at it and went 
oh no, it's taken over your whole ear. We'll have to operate on this. Mm. And I was like, oh, and it was like, yeah, probably worse than the first time. So I think I've got a medical negligence on my hands. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it, it, it's, it's avoidable, isn't it? That's the thing. We're speaking about it with your dad. It, <clears> is, it was actually very avoidable. If I had my checkup. If you had your regular checkup. Because yeah, the would first have operation was like, they'd done it in my ear through mm. like fine tools, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Um, but this time they have to cut open all the back of my ear and I'll have a really bad scar behind my gonna ear. Have, yeah, but you... Again, your ears are so small. and you've Yeah, but got... I tie my hair up so much. No, nah, you'll be fine. I, I, I reckon you'll see it. Um, well, obviously, I won't. My eyes are on the front of my head. If everyone else will see it. How the fuck am I going to see um, it? You, you've not my train of thought here as well. Yeah, you've got to wear a headband. <laughs> that was... you got to yeah. wear a head, headband. Yeah, he what would you do for a job? And I was like, oh, you know, like social media, online, whatever. And he went, oh, okay, yeah, you probably won't want to do that for like one week. No, Head bandage. That? Okay. That's so <laughs> I do funny. Have to, yeah. Oh, so. it's not funny, but yeah, it's, it's actually very peak. It's so peak. It's very peak. I'm, I'm sad. But the thing you. is, thank you. Then I'm going to need um, another operation because 100% this will fuck up my hearing. So I only got like 50% hearing in this ear, ear anyway. Oh, if you go so deaf, enough, mate, I'm. Uh, do you not remember after the operation? I couldn't hear anything. I know this is going to sound horrid, right? He hates it. No, but my nan had a hearing aid. I'm not going to... And that fucking thing used to make this weird whirring noise. Oh, it's the most frustrating thing ever. You fucking put that hearing aid in properly. (laughs) What the fuck is going on? You're fucking walking around the kitchen. It would probably be like some sort of hearing implant. Fair dues. Well, they I won't have one. They do yeah. it all from... You'll be all right. They reconstruct your eardrum, don't they? True. So did you not have that done? No. No? No. That's why you did? No. Because it was seven hours? No, they didn't. My eardrum was fine mm. at the time. Oh, definitely be fucked. Yeah, it, listen, it, that, that, my nan's hearing aid was frustrating. Yeah? Because it just used to Is make noise. Is this going to be like make or break if I get hearing aid? No, it's not. Of course not. But just, you still good enough, mate? Well, actually, I assume... Here we go. I assume hearing aid technology has you gone up. clear ones, yeah. Yeah, no, I assume it's gone up since my nan's one. Hopefully. Yeah, because, oh, mate, it, it, my mum used to be like, can you please put it in properly? Just be like yeah. slightly off. And it just makes a noise. Yeah, I bet you can get some proper good ones if yeah, you get a bit fun. of money from them and all. Anyway, yeah, very sorry for you. So hopefully Thanks, you, uh, hopefully it all goes well. Huh? Mm. Wow. Was that lovely? So, cases or whatever it is. What's yours? Cassis. I don't know what that is. No, I get sent it every time. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> C-A-S-S-I-S. Fuck those, but you're... It yeah, it's like right. black current or Cassis. Right, okay. Um, you did a video this week where yep. I rated your outfits. You did. Oh my God, and guess who saw that video? Oh, oh yeah, this is I huge guess news. guess who saw that? This is actually gigantic news, by the way, everybody. I hope oh, you don't reveal. see this. I'm going to sound really uncool. No, you are. This. You Joe Swash. Joe Swash. I was fucking buzzing. Joe Swash watches Fizzle K videos. Yeah. Bro, so I was in the country park, not going to re- reveal what one, obviously. And then I had both the dogs and I had Olive in the pram. And I see a man. Obviously, I couldn't see him. I in glasses. Couldn't see who it was, but he had a double pram. So mm. I was like, well, I'll move out of the way. Otherwise, we're all going to get a bit fucking tangled in leads, kids, whatever. So I just stood to the side. And then he came by, by and he was like, thank you. Oh, what are you doing here? How are you? You all right? <laughs> like, oh, Essex. How are you doing? Yeah, you all right? You good? Yeah, like yeah. that. And gave me a hug. And I was like, ah, what? <laughs> Joe, <laughs> and I hate that when people do that to Ethan because I think you know who it is. Just say Ethan. But you did it. I was like, Joe, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was him. I was like, Oh my yeah. god! And he was like, Yeah, I watched the video. This is mega, isn't it? So mega. Well, apparently like, yeah, their children, at work. their children are f- fans of us a lot yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So I assume they, yeah, they would have known sort yeah. of of us. But well, yeah, I knew they was in the area that we lived in. I just yeah. Didn't know well, obviously, because I see she goes to the yeah. high street. Or well, Stacey is your queen, isn't she? She is the you, queen. You, you are like Stacey Solomon's biggest fan. I feel like we shouldn't say this though, because it makes me seem really uncool. Because I've invited them around for okay, barbecue just, and they've said say, yes. And I feel like say, if we say this, it's going to make me look weird. They're not going to come. Yeah, valid. Okay, but you do. You love her, don't you? I love her a normal amount. You love her a normal. I've not had to unsend a hundred messages. On no, the you love ever. her a lot. You just love- in case one day she accepts me, and then I've just got like a thousand unread messages. Uh, it's, it's love your door, babes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. It, what it is is Faith would reply to her stories like she was her mate. Yeah, she don't reply. <laughs> <laughs> she don't even follow me. I'm just a silent fan. <laughs> She's the only person I've ever messaged, really. And then I took a stab in the dark and messaged Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, God, it bit four hours. He didn't reply, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> Fucking voice note, little baby hope. 
Yeah, <laughs> but it was cute though. Um, but he said he was like, oh, we si- we went to like KSI boxing match, yeah. and he was like, oh, we was the coolest parents ever because we were sitting behind you, you lot. This was the one where you had your operation, so we didn't go. Yes, so yeah. everyone else met him, yeah. but he didn't. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. So thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, again, I'm not uncool. I love you guys a normal amount. And then there was like, <laughs> my kids think you're like the coolest people ever. So that's I was like, yeah, well. Well, I am. Did they not? No, I didn't. <laughs> I am that. the coolest person ever. They obviously mean you. But I was like, yeah, no, they're cool. I was like, do they not think you're cool? Like, yeah. You guys are also really cool. Oh, you think they're very cool. They're so cool. I've never been gassed about meeting anyone. <laughs> I walk into a room. We went to a Gymshark event the other day. And he was like, oh, that's a rapper. That's a rapper. And I'm like, bro, I don't know anyone in here. But you yeah. put Jam and Stacey in a room. Bruv. Bruv. Go. Bruv. 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 That's hot bruv. stuff. Yeah, bruv. Bruv. Um, yeah, outfits. Yeah, we you, you yep. tried on. It was, you know, a couple of your videos have just been like, Ethan, I need you for like, you just grab me for these things. Yeah, that was an excuse to just buy outfits, though, wasn't it? Really, that's no. what that was. It was not an excuse to use my business account. It was. This on is. Money. I, I figured it out now. They're, on money, they're just on they're, items. <laughs> the million excuses. You've Tax had a bad. You've had a bad month. Me. Tax you, man can't no, catch you've me. had a bad month, haven't you? Go on. It was for a video. No, go on. Explain to the people oh, you've had. Me. A, yeah, so no. Faith uh-huh. stopped spending money because she realised she has a big issue. Uh, can we just no? You knew start that. So. Whose money we're spending? Yeah, yours. Thank you. Yeah, but you you realised you had an issue with your own spending. Listen, I just realised I should have a lot more money. Yes. Than where I was because I looked at you know how like Monzo would tell you how much you've spent a month. Yes. I could sometimes be nearly five figures. That's mental. Yeah, like a month. That's mental. Yeah, don't look at me like that. <laughs> it's me mental. Like that. I don't need she to judge. just buys shit. Like every day, at least five parcels turn up to the door. The amount of cardboard our house generates, it, and fucking Greta hates us. No, it's exactly, it's fine. But. You've still got to ship it to us. <laughs> yeah, economically, probably. <laughs> Um, but I realised that, however, and I was like, oh, we'll relax a bit. And I did well you for did. Like three months. You did really well. did so but well this, for like three this months. This month, you might as well have just not done the three months. No, I ain't quite that bad. Probably I've missed. I've gone back to a regular month, probably. It's but horrible. I'm making videos out of all of it, so that's fine. Sure. That's how it works. Sure, right. <laughs> Tax man can't catch me. No. Nice. But I'm going to stop for next month because I've got all the stuff I need now. All right. I needed a little refund. You've also got to get me a birthday present. You know what birthday... Where's your birthday? Your- Birthday, no, March, but you, April, May, June, three months. Yeah, but you've got, no, you've got to start doing research on what you're getting me for my birthday. You told me you want a chicken burger t shirt and a dishwasher. There you go. So you've got to find me the best but dishwasher. Dad said we don't need a new dishwasher. No, but, but like, well, I want one. You've got a new washing machine. I yes, want. Because we couldn't fit any clothes. No, in I it. want the dishwasher. Because but, essentially, everybody, I do the dishes. Uh, that's my job because Faith thinks that the dishes are like the world's worst task. I hate task. it. It's yeah, I sensory, don't know why. It's so sen- but, sensory. Like, wrong Faith's for me. hate for. You'd think that a dish has killed one of her family members in, in the way that she's. It's the hot hates plates it. and it smells and it feels weird and I don't like the squeak and me- wet metal. Ugh. Basically, kills me. All of that. So I do the dishwasher, but our dishwasher is fucked and it's knackered. It's and fine. the fucking thi- the drawer that you pull out, face not like seven wheels off of it for when she does do it. She goes, These fell off of it earlier. I'm putting it back on. No, I don't know how to put it back on. Disclaimer. Right. So now the drawer doesn't pull out properly. Well, I just put any drawers in. No, I want, I want a fucking shiny new black dishwasher. I want a fucking sleek dishwasher. Sure. And a chicken burger tea. Oh. Chicken burger. I ain't asking for too much. But you need to do the measurements. You need to find out what the best yeah, for the see, market is. Yeah, see, this is where I don't do well because you I, don't measure, I don't measure anything. But everything has fit. Everything I've ordered in my life has fit where uh, I wanted it to go. Yeah, fair. But still, that one is actually a confined space. So you, you are going to have to do some yeah, research. Yeah, I'll get to do it. And then if push comes to shove, I'm not giving you an out here. Get me some new trays for it or something. Trays? Yeah, for like oh, right. putting yeah, things yeah, in because yeah. it's just fucking shit. It's, it, I don't mind doing dishes, Yeah, but when I have to use shoddy equipment, that fucks me off. I don't think you like doing it. No, I, no, no one likes doing it. <laughs> what silly. Oh, yeah, I fucking love doing the dishwasher. Yeah. Do you know what I do want, actually? So, we have dogs. Dogs. We are actually getting a third dog. That's it. Dog. In. Yeah. Yeah. But we feed them raw meat and mm. I've just started like upping their nutrition a bit. They've always been fed raw meat, always good food, premium yeah. dinners, whatever. But now I've gone for more like, I follow loads of nutritionist pages, whatever. They've been having, like, animal they've been having like whole yogurts, whatever. Anyways, um, 
like whole rabbit ears. But it- yeah, that one was so sad. Even that, I'm quite a cold, heartless bastard, right? But Faith went, oh, can you go and defrost two bunny ears, please? Like, so they can have that for dinner or whatever. And I was expecting, like, the bunny ear to just be the meat or so, like, whatever it was. I've grabbed it out of the packet. It's still furry white ear. <laughs> like, it's as if I've just chopped the bunny's ear off here now in front of me. It was still fluffy. I love this. So what happened to the ears? Yeah, I said, I, 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 went, I went, Faith, I'm going to show you this quickly because I don't think you knew what they looked like. No, I did. Well, I, 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 went, I went, keep Olive away. away from this because this is horrible. If she looks in that bowl and sees bunny ears... Horrible. Chem was funny. My makeup artist that was round was pescatarian. Oh, really? Animal lover. Oh, and I brought her. in. Yeah, you just brought me in. <laughs> That's quite funny. <laughs> That's quite funny. That's yeah. actually really Listen, good. Listen, <laughs> I, ju- I, ju- I just think it's for dogs, is what it is. No, of course. It's like, fine. It's not like we're eating it. And no. we do eat meat, so you can't complain that no, much. I know. It's just, I, w- I wasn't expecting to see white fluffy bunny ears. I was, ex- you know when like, have you been to, I've eaten pigs here at a restaurant, right? Yum. Yeah, but lovely. And pig intestines. I have eaten pig intestines, but that one is, uh, even now, it's making <laughs> sick. That was fucking vile. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the shiver still goes through my body. That t- yeah, it was great. Just, it made me get when you did it. Um, but I've eaten pigs here, stuff like that. It's nice. I just wasn't expecting to see a fluffy bunny in the bowl. <laughs> yeah. But they are now eating like spleen, heart, lung. Lung, yeah. Liver, like they're getting a real mix of well, like actual I said to you m- we should humans this uh, I know this sounds bad but humans should involve some liver in their like diet and stuff mm. like that yeah I'm so, not doing that no you're meant to no because it's, it's really literally and, and like same with us it's a filtering process everything shit goes through your liver your liver fixes that there's no way I'm eating all the shit filtering components of a different animal it's got these the most no nutri- nutrient dense thing yeah I bet it has like, on planet earth actually yeah, yeah who so told you that? It's Bro, it's really good for you. Mm. You should listen to Liver King. <laughs> um, you did like loads of TikToks the other night with me, didn't you? Oh, we they did. Was... Oh, sorry, going back. We never finished where we started. No, I don't know. I was just going to say I want a sink, but only for the dog bowls because it's making a sink smell. Because it's all the blood oh, and the raw meat. That, I don't yeah. like the cross contamination risk. So I want a sink. Would you mind if I put sink on the outside of the house where dog bowls are? Hades pissed in his bowl this morning. Oh, yeah. I don't want to bring this shit in the on. house. Yeah, it's all, it's all going on today. For some reason, the dog fucking. This is our old granddad dog. Maybe he's, gosh, he's fully seen it. No, I now. think he done it so Rolo didn't lick his bowl. Yeah, so Rolo's the little sausage dog. Hades is the big ginger dog. The, the big ginger dog is rescue. He's very old. He's arthritic. He's in a, he's, he's just six. end of life care, pretty sure. much. He is. That's what he's in on. Um, so he has his dinner outside. Rolo has his dinner outside. Hades is a bigger dog, so he has bigger dinner. Rolo finishes his, and when Hades has finished it, goes and licks Hades' bowl. Hades. Uh, Faith was stood by the door making sure they ate and she went oh my god Hades is pissing his bowl right now like he's actually Bro, doing it I felt it. sick yeah it's actually, oh, it's actually fucking grim yeah like, proper grim. no like he fully purposefully done it as well and he pissed in his bowl I can't sort that out mm. that makes me feel sick there's like animal blood in there and now piss Ugh. like I can't deal with that I and I cannot it. wash that up in the sink yeah I attempt to it like, I think we need a sink outside. Uh, but it's so fucking annoying. Our hoses on the other side of the house, like the tap, outdoor mm. tap, should be on the other side. They're a lot easier for us. Well, it would be ideal if we could use the door in the washroom. But we can't. Yeah, there's a tumble dryer there. Yeah, I'm well aware. <laughs> but either way, we couldn't feed the dogs out there anyway. It's too too much of a slim gap. But when we get the new dog, we've been told to feed them one at a time anyway. So I'll yeah. be interested to see how that goes. Well, either way, I can't remember what we were talking about now. But let, said, let, should we move on? Let's just move on videos, to life. Should we move on to what's going on in the world? Going in. Trending topics. Cheltenham was on last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is one for you. Faith, as a horse owner and lover, what are your feelings towards horse racing? I've never been. I've been invited mm. to Cheltenham. I've never been either. I've never been. Uh, I don't like the... F- I think the whips should be banned. That's the... Well, that, yeah. They're just smashing them Because the horse is already running at full capacity. I don't think they need but to be But what if, hit. like Callie... I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Callie or Pablo, they, they can be lazy at times where like the kicking don't work. Yeah, but then so you're not meant if, to kick a horse all the time and eh? they become numb to it. So that's why I'm saying they might need that little, ah, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, but I'm oh, not I'm trying not to flat out gallop my horse on an empty field. These are racehorses no, as well. I'm, Mine aren't racehorses. I'm not, I'm, I'm not they saying that. I'm run. just saying a horse can get lazy and not want to go full capacity. So 
it might only go full capacity when it's getting a little fucking sting, is what they're, I'm saying. They're herd animals. They're all running. Chances are all the horses are going to be running. Even so then, limit it to two smacks a race. Because they just, right. bruv, they sit there and just do this. Yeah. Like, and I think the one jumping the hedges as well, I think that should be banged so many fall and broke their legs. But flat racing. They get shot then, don't they? Yeah, like flat racing. I don't mind. But I think yeah. there should be a whip count, possibly. Yeah, it is Pete when they uh when that when that if they fuck up a leg they just get done out there. Yeah, and, and they're all really young horses as well. Most of them be like which three is years old. which is Pete by the way because like someone it's might some money in it. Someone yeah, but some yeah I know it is, but someone might buy that horse off you lame and just want it, mm. but instead they shoot it. The rule of thumb is if a horse has hurt its leg, but there's you just no fuck it off. Back. Really? Well, but, your horse hurt its leg. It's back now. Yeah, she did. She got splint. She didn't fucking break it. So what's the splint? She got a little injury in the leg. You got to splint in your leg before, didn't you? No, Harry gets shin splints. Shin splints? Yeah, yeah. I don't get shin splints. Harry gets shin splints. Okay, what well, is, is that? She was out in the field, overstretched, got a little splint. She just had to have three months <laughs> off. So dramatic, horses, it is you know? so dramatic. Horses are actually so dramatic. Pablo, the other day, yeah, emptying the fucking hay on the floor. So I won't go in that bastard stable because... He's good now, but sure. Yeah, he's not, but... Sure. I emptied it over the thing. It got so dramatic. He went... <laughs> he started, like, doing circles in his thing. They're so dramatic. The fucking Donald yeah, you, broke my toe. You walk up to him and go, fuck off. Yeah. Fuck off. As, you don't need to do that anymore. Dessert. You just point and he'll go to the back of his stable. And now, also, Donald broke my toe because a fucking foam roller came off of a box. Yeah, which you should have never have taken out. No, but they're so dramatic. Anymore. You didn't need to foam roll in the middle of a stable yard. So I will put that down actually as to being your fault. If you didn't but get that, way, you wouldn't listen, break toe. Horses are the most overdramatic things ever. Oh, my leg hurts three months out. I'm going to start taking that rooting off you won't you you can't relax for no I can't minutes. relax at all you would never do that no anyway uh, I don't mind Cheltenham uh, but I'm with you uh, I, think I just think it's all a big money of course it is I, I see actually recently a TikTok Harry Redknapp one of his horses finally won oh nice yeah he's been, he's actually been into it for years and years mm. that's one thing I, I know he's, he's got like a couple but yeah one of his horses actually won Cheltenham mm. which is I suppose cool I just think if you're giving him a good home balance I assume okay uh, Sorry, no? I'm just sorry. Uh, is my brain's running 100 miles now? D he was celebrating. Is he celebrating just because it's his horse, or does he get a cut of like? Because it's just a big money thing, isn't it? Well, horse it's one. He's probably got some money, but then it is probably nice when your own horse wins as well. But like, do they get a cut of the bet money, or like, what's going on? I don't know. I don't bet on it. Because I, I yeah. I've never bet on horse racing. Would I life. celebrate just for my horse winning? No. You probably would. I'd celebrate if it won me some dosh. I'd celebrate. Yeah, but again, it's your horse. You'd. It's not so yes, I mean, it's just a horse. Okay, so if I did a round and I won, would you be like, yes? Yep, yeah, you won. Yeah. Not, I don't give a fuck about the horse. But I ain't giving you no money. Probably uh, didn't get no money for it. I don't do a high enough level. Uh, oh, pardon me. Pardon me. Oh, right. I'm breaking. Mm. <laughs> I've just had a breakdown. Yeah, <clears throat> um, yeah cool. Horses. Do done? Done with the horses? Sure. Yeah, amazing. Uh, there's a thing here that says Simon event happening soon, but it's not. We actually cancelled it. Oh, what but, are you doing? Uh, I'm not going to speak about it. I'll, I'll wait until someone else speaks about it and then I'll speak about it. Why? Because I just can't be doing with the, can't believe you put that on your podcast, mate. Uh, what's good? Yeah, uh, yeah not that. But I just, I, Simon, uh, tell I, us. No, I just, I, I, just, I just can't be bothered with... Uh, anyway, we was going to do something, but it just turned out to be a little bit naff Ooh. and like yeah anyway drama it's not drama it's really just Can a case tell me of, in the car yeah it's really Daddy. just a case of pulling the plug um because it was just going to be silly um new james bond i've seen this <clears throat> aaron taylor johnson has been announced as the new james bond and for me not a bond i don't know who that is he's just not as what's he done he was the boy in angus thongs and perfect snogging never seen it huh never seen it uh, and now he's Bond. Is he the right choice? Have you heard about... Have you? Oh, here we go. Have you heard the story about his wife? No. She's a director who's 25 years older than him. They reportedly met on set when he was 18 and she was 42. Yeah, that's healthy. We were in, they were engaged a year later. Is this dodgy? Well, fucking obviously. Yeah, slightly. It's not really a rhetorical um, question, Right, so I get a picture up of him. Mm -hmm. So here you go. Google. Not as a child, please. New, no. New Bond. It's him. 42 and 18 him. is nuts hang on oh do you think that's a bond um no that's like a Ken yeah diet blonde that's Ken it's not it's not a it's not a it's not a bond no. in my mind he's don't get don't get me wrong a handsome chap but he's not, he's not you bond. need 
a man. Yeah, you need. That's not a man. You need like. You no, need but he's, a he's a handsome man, but he's not, looking he's not man. a man. He's not no. a man that's got got guns that come out the headlights of his like car. Like a Liam Neeson, he's hot. Yeah, that's a man. That's a man. You've also got Jason Statham, hot, really hot. Jason Statham, he's hot, mate. He, yeah, that's man. Jason Idris Sta- Elba, J- man. Yeah, see, the, I, I said it last pod. Get me Black Bond. Yeah. I want to watch Black Bond. Well, they're not doing it. His no, I know. Happened. They've chosen another... Uh, well, that's flower, I right? want a Black Bond. Uh, Jason Statham is... He's... Listen, it's, 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 it's a man. It's what you want, like a rugged, nice looking... Oh, fuck you, man. Man. Oh, it's Bond. Yeah, man. Bottom left picture is probably the best. Man. He's in like... Yeah, bottom action. left is nah. Yeah. Man. I don't know about the pose on the right, but... <laughs> no. no what but... about someone from um, Breaking Bad? The one that played like um, the two boys that were bald, Michael and Michael Schofield and... What? Not Breaking Bad, Prison Break. Oh yeah, I know you're talking about. Even so, I he... don't think... No, I don't think he's a Bond. He's too slight. No, the... What about the older brother then? The older brother maybe, but he's more American. I just want to fucking blow something up, bro. Like, yeah. He doesn't give me Bond. Like, this is what I'm saying. Daniel Craig was Bond, bro. Classy, but man. Where's he gone then? Why can't he do it again? Well, he's just done it for too long, isn't it? So? It's, it's time for a little bit of fresh new blood. into the. But yeah, I, 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 there needs to be, in my lifetime, I want a black Bond. Yeah. And I want it to be Idris, bro. Idris is smooth, man. He's just putting out fucking beats for the Yeah, bro. Though. DJ's in Ibiza. He's DJing. And he's in Ibiza, bro. He's busy. Yeah, he's, he's having it off. Um, is he the right choice? In my mind... I would have preferred Daniel Craig to stay on. Uh, I don't think you can I go say from this Angus like I'm some sort of fucking snogging to that. Yeah, I say this like I'm some sort of fucking James Bond fan. I watch like one every now and then and then I crack on with life. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a big one next. The Kate Middleton situation. Uh, did you watch the TikToks that we was she given as homework? A doppelganger. No, did, but no, I didn't know what part was homework. I read the whole doc and I was like, where's homework? We well, did it. No, it's literally says part one, part two, and you well, click I'm, and watch it. Don't want to say it again, but you know what I am. Watch these two videos before recording. Not hard. Then, no, I missed that bit. Did you? Is it about the doppelganger? Uh, it's about the I'm whole Kate, thing in general, well, but you I'm should have watched Kate, it. I'm on Kate Middleton TikTok anyway. Oh, are you? hit me because I've seen Bevy. All right, so let's run through the timeline. When in? December 25th, last confirmed public sighting of Kate. Mm-hmm. December 28th, Spanish reporter claims a royal convoy was spotted going to the London hospital. Mm-hmm. January 17th. Buckingham Palace come out and say Kate is having a planned surgery and she'll be in hospital for two weeks. The next day, William visited her. And this was the only time it's claimed he visited her. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, so one thing, it, it goes on here. Uh, January 24th, Royal Reporter comes out saying the surgery was not planned and nobody has visited Kate for a week. So she's just like lurking in there alone. Uh, January 25th, same Spanish reporter comes out and says Kate was in a medically induced coma. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Uh, January 26th, the royal family put out a statement saying she's made great recovery and has returned home. But there were no photographs of her leaving the hospital. So this is where I have a gripe with it. I think... She's dead. No. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I would assume, if I was the fucking royal family, they have secret exits. And, uh, I get you guys put, go out the back door. I, I'm fucking <laughs> Ethan Bazinga from Rumford and I go out of secret exis- exits and whatever. It, yeah. I can't speak. <laughs> I'm having a bad day. Like I said, I'm really pulling through on this. Yep. I feel like shit. Uh, I, this, there was people set up with cameras. They would have, I reckon there's probably secret fucking entrances and shit. At the end of the day, who cares? I, I'm also, I couldn't uh, give a fine fuck about I'd, these. Like, like, do we actually need the royal family at this point? <laughs> the argument is, yeah. Why? They're, they're, but they've become more of a fucking, it's just a, he's a tourist attraction now, I think. We'll there's, just leave the palace then and then, Put them um, at the job centre. The Spanish reporter's source was supposedly a Spanish nanny who has worked with the family for years. Uh, now there has been... How has there been no sightings? The latest sighting. Have you seen this one? Where, it, like, it's just not her. Yeah, it's just the doppelganger. Yeah, that's just like... That's that's some sort of, like, robot. Well, it's a woman. Doppelganger. It's just odd, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it it's an odd situation. I just don't get why they try and cover things like these days. Like, does anyone actually give a shit that much? Uh, it, they, they, there was uh, in that TikTok that was linked for the homework. Someone put that, you know, the edited photo that she yeah. put up. They run it through like a it thing was a called Bogue. Yeah, AI or not, mm-hmm. and it was like seventy eight percent of it was AI. Yeah, I was going to say her face was from a Vogue shoot she done, yeah. and then they morphed it well, over. You are, that on one. T- you are I am. I told you. You're in Kate Middle and TikTok. You love homework. a conspiracy, though, don't you? 
they do just come up for me. I don't actually search for them. But you do love a conspiracy. Yeah, I'll watch him. That's yeah, you love them. Come up. You love it. Go on. What's, what's, your, what's happened to Kate? Go on. Here we go. Oh, well, I started seeing one last <laughs> night and it was a medium. All right. And it was a voice box. I don't know. I commented wait, on it. it like, uh, wait. I was like, why do I only see this shit at night Because I just see one recently of a geezer. It was captioned asking Diana what's happened to Kate. <laughs> Please don't tell me it's that. I don't know. Let me know. Like, medium. Listen here, mediums. <laughs> mediums out there, yeah? If Princess Diana wanted to talk to anyone, it's not you on TikTok. <laughs> All right? Like, 100% not. Where's it going? <laughs> he probably sat there going, and uh, what do you think? No, what's going on? It's not happening. Yeah. Positive things about, you know, your son, William, and Kate. Do you know what's going on with them? <laughs> Something face. <laughs> Like, what the fuck is that? What is that? Why, anyway, what do you think's happened to her? Let's hear it. Fizzle K conspiracy. Here we go. Boom. Well, I just do think that William slept with another woman, didn't he? And then he knocked her up. Oh. And um, he wants to now be with that woman, probably. Even though Kate's actually the better looking version of that woman. Mm. Anyways, I think there's a whole affair going on. I have, and a, I don't I have my own conspiracy. I think... Everything's a cover-up, isn't it? I think... So apparently it was planned abdominal surgery, but mm. my thought is, I reckon, I don't know, but I reckon maybe, because I think it's probably sh a shame. Kate's had an affair. No, it's shamed upon the royal family to have abortions, I think. I think they might have been pregnant again, didn't want it, and she had an abortion. I don't think so. We've already got three kids. What's four? Oh I wouldn't, God. if I had three kids, I wouldn't get an abortion for the fourth one. Would you not? No. Yeah, fair. I don't think you can. You've had, you, like, you've got kids. Unless yeah, but what it was if you don't a, want one more? Yeah, but they're very rich. It's only in a circumstance if you absolutely cannot home or house another child. Yeah, valid. Yeah, yeah. They can. Yeah. Like they've got palace. They are royal. Just what I'm saying. Just get the nanny, get the Spanish nanny to look after it. Don't even have to do it. I'm going to go and do a wee right now. Brilliant. Sorry, Brilliant. guys. I'm going to wet myself. Why have you started a scratch again? I haven't. It takes you like 10 minutes to put one mouthful with them teeth. Got nothing to do with my teeth. I just chew it, mate. Mate. <laughs> no one choking my food, do I? Do you see what I look like in your glasses? Yeah, they're not for you. You you suit you you suit a bolder a bolder frame. I don't look like Clark Kent right now. No, well, I would hope not. You looking like Clark Kent? <laughs> I don't want to take Clark Kent home, do I? Um, you suit a, a bolder frame. Well, I couldn't find my glasses. I wanted to wear them because yeah, I've got no all, makeup all on glasses. today. Yeah, they're just all gone. Bruv, they've all gone. Bruv. It's so annoying. I've spent so much money on my glasses frames as well. I've got Cartier ones. Saint Laurent. I don't know where any of them fucking are. Wow. It's actually bad. You're really good with like keeping things in. No, a... I'm trying. I'm trying. So I've come up with new systems of putting stuff away. All properly. right, here we go. Let's hear it. What's your system? I'll just put it away and then remember where I put it, mostly. But <laughs> sometimes I'll just leave stuff in pockets and then come I'll wear it system. for a year. It's just putting things where I know they are. Yes. Cool. Revolutionise the organised system. <laughs> really good. Go on, then, carry on. All right, next up. So last week we had the asking your girlfriend, no, yep. girlfriend ask you questions that start an argument. This week we've got asking your girlfriends to start an argument. It's like my side. Uh huh. So I get to ask you questions. Yeah. And I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah, come on. All right, you ready? Bring it, big boy. All right. Last week, Ethan had to answer questions, so it's only right that this week, Ethan gets the right of reply. Yeah. Boom. Equal rights. Love that. Hold that. Yeah, except I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I realised how badly I flopped so the So bad. The prettiest girl in the world one, yeah. I flopped I'm, like, I was so mad after that as well. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, well, what's this fucking type then? Right, okay, sure. Uh, right, are you ready for your first question? Would you rather lose your hair or me? No, well, the smart answer is obviously you, isn't it? I wouldn't like to lose my hair, but you, there's such great wigs out there. I can become a new person every day. So? I'd lose the hair. You're losing the hair? Uh-huh. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Because you keep looking off and up to the left. You're like... rich, man. You can buy me a lot of wigs. <laughs> Fair dues, you've passed the test. 
Number one. If I die, would you remarry? How young? Oi. <laughs> Cheeky fuck. What do you mean? How young? 24. That's not the answer, is it? What do you mean? How young? What, are you going tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, I'm only company. I'm going to die today. Now what? I don't like being home alone, though. It's you said you hate men. I do hate men. No You're going to marry a woman? Maybe. That's allowed. You can do that. Oh, fine. Nice. I'll marry a woman. I just need company. I won't mind it, even if I live with a friend. It's either that or she'll just end up with like fucking 18 horses, 16 dogs. I do need some. Eight goats. I'll need some form of company because I'll just, if I hear a sound, hmm. I can't deal with that. I wouldn't necessarily remarry, I don't think. I probably would end up with a woman like saying doing the whole men business again. No way. What's wrong with us? Oh, bro, just a lot. Like, you're emotionally <laughs> incompetent. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't help around the house. Like, women actually understand women. You're attacking me. I, I can, And someone I with boobs would be amazing. What? Well, if I was going to be with a woman, I'd probably pick one with boobs. <laughs> oh, that's just my type. Like, you, you like what you like. You've made out there that I don't know where the, the, the clitoris is. No, I did have to tell you where it was first few times. <laughs> No, that's a lie. No, it's not. I cook that thing. That thing now, gets cooked. Now, yeah, but that at thing the gets fucking fried. No, at the beginning, <laughs> that, I'm, thing, I'm a, that thing holds I'm smoke. Listen, you know when you get like something that you have to build yourself, right? And it comes with a really long manual. Well, no, but every mine's woman is not built a push different. To start, yeah, mine's not a push to start. No, you, you hard work. You are, you hard graft. Thank you. But so listen, I did have to, but you're great at it now. That thing is getting instantly. fucking pan fried, flipped, cooked. That thing's getting fucking. Well, lift that thing one more time. That thing. Talk to it nicely. <laughs> that, that thing. You won't see that thing. Hey, again. talk to talk to me nicely because I got the tools. Yeah, but I tell you, you had to fucking buy the tools. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fucked it's not up. Not a bad thing. No, that thing gets work. Yeah. Yeah. Well then. All right. Anyway, uh, who's got a harder job? You staying at home with Olive or me? Harder. <laughs> definitely me. Hey, they tried setting us up here. Yeah. That's what's happened. Yeah. Harder. <laughs> definitely me. Yeah. But tiring. Oh. I would when you're country hopping. Mm. You. Mm. But day to day. Bro, there's some days where you ain't got a screen. You've got PAs. You've got a lovely table of food. You're with your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, your I've, work days are hard and I appreciate that, but you don't have a toddler no, screaming I've, at you I've, and you know what she's like for me. I fully agree. That Mine's harder. Yes, yeah. Thank you. I fully agree. So that one's actually fine. I didn't want to not say that sensitively no, because no. I appreciate what you do can be hard. However, mine, bro, you see what she's like for me. After, I guess I was cutting the dinner and I was holding a full child whilst cutting an avocado. No, I, know. Like, I know. She literally uh, pulls my clothes down and she tries I would agree. I would agree because there's sometimes where like she wants nothing to do with me as well. She just gets very needy just for like you. Mum, yeah. Like cooked the whole dinner yesterday, she had to sit on my lap. Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> right, next up. Who is your best friend? You. You, you why did you say that so hesitantly? So the first person who came into my head was Georgia, but smart answer. Well you're is wrong you. then. No, because I said you. Well, I don't want the smart answer, I want the actual answer. Yeah. <laughs> if I had to pick, sorry, you just George. said it's Georgia. I've got to pick Ethan and I. Yeah, but I actually am though. I make you proper laugh. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're besties, bro. We are best friends. We're besties. But my girl best friend is Georgia, but you're my boy best friend. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm allowed two best friends. That's it though. I've got no more friends after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be one lonely wedding with no bridesmaids and no maid of oh. honours. <laughs> If you went to the shop and I give you a shopping list... That's never going to fucking happen. But I didn't put chocolate on the shopping list. Are you getting me chocolate? Now... He's never been... This is really quite life. funny, actually, because Faith passed through a Greg's recently, got herself a cookie and no, got a Olive... Donut. A, a donut. donut. She got a pink donut. And you got, don't like donuts. She got herself a pink donut and then got Olive a bunny rabbit cupcake and nothing for me. You come home. I went, can you hold this? What is it? Oh, it's a bunny cupcake for Olive. It was about this big. Literally, it was a tiny, tiny cupcake. Well, do I not get one then? <laughs> well, are you one years old? Do you want a buttercream fucking bunny ice cream? Absolutely. Uh, cupcake. Without a doubt. And she was not well either. So I thought this would make her feel nice. I'm not well. Now, you was fine then. I'm not. My neck well, really hurts now too. Don't get me one then. 
You probably got bad goiter. <laughs> I've got bad goiter. I've got bad, yeah, basically. You like me. That's actually quite funny. That's it. So yeah, if if you went to the shop and I gave you a shopping list, I buy chocolate put, anyway. But plus, you never fucking know what's in the house or well, what's out of stock I in the eat house. Anyway. You just open the fridge. If we ain't got anything, you won't buy food ever. Yeah, I just eat everything. It's solely my responsibility. So if I want to buy chocolate, I'll buy it. And then I'll eat the chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, who is always right in the relationship? Me. Ain't you? No way. That's the wrong answer. But it's not. That's the wrong answer. It's not. What do you think? We can both be wrong and right in different scenarios. Yeah, sure. You're not always right though, because you are sometimes not right. <laughs> yeah, but you, you you are right lots of times. About what? Just think. What have but... I been wrong about? Huh? What have I been wrong about? I don't know. I can't yeah, exactly. Someone was right. fucking right. All right. Uh, what is my toxic trait? <laughs> <laughs> obviously i know the smart answer what's the smart answer don't have any i'm not an idiot to these games you do have some now you read the document didn't you no i'm just not a fucking idiot these are all over tiktok i know the smart answers so what what is my toxic trait then um probably just the way you handle your emotions right in what? It's not good at in all. In what regard? It's toxic to yourself. It's pretty much self harm. In, uh, in what regard? What? What? When? When did? I, when did I self harm? Literally yesterday. Oh. Ethan, what's the matter? Fucking you! Oh mate, I was gonna. Whoa. I was gonna explode yesterday. Yeah, and oh, can I wow. tell the story? So essentially, oh. we went to a stand up um, to cancer event the previous night. So we stayed at my mum's house. Cancer, teenage cancer. Sorry. Um, Went, stayed at my mum's house so was there in the morning I realised we had baby group which is literally four minutes away from yeah. my mum's house so I was like oh well we'll just wait because mm. you didn't have any work and you was fine with that no obligations everything's fine no point driving back half hour to come back half hour again um, and I was like oh it starts at 10 let's just go we got there got a parking space and I was like oh the hall's not open and I was like, I looked at my text and I was like, oh, okay, it starts at half 10. And I was like, well, she's going to cry in the back seat because she's awake. Um, so we can't just stay there for half an hour. Um, so I was like, let's just drive around, get something to eat, whatever. Where though? Where though? Start driving around. Well, I'm just fucking driving around now. I was driving around the haunt shows like a fucking pillock. And like, there's no places to park. So then you're going and saying, oh, we'll just go up there. By the time you park and get in, the, get in, get in anywhere, we're going to have to fucking drive back to the hall anyway. So now I've just done laps of haunt church. Yeah, which is fine because you have to move in car for the baby, but I don't understand how that put you in a bad mood. She was like, oh. you use like this is a waste of my time. Bro acts <laughs> wow. like he sits there grinding <laughs> in his fucking half hours. You don't, you take longer to do a fucking shit in half an hour, mate. <laughs> don't act like time is money for you because it's no, not. No, it was You'd more just be the case of, your ass again, on no. your phone. Yes, because when I do have a day where I can, uh, yeah, all that like morning, acting, no, where no, I can no, sit on my ass, I want to sit on my ass. No, because this is such a victim pull and you do it all the time. <laughs> you have a lot of fucking spare time i'm sorry but you do and you have a lot of time sitting on that fucking phone chilling out doing what you want so don't and i wanted to do that yeah but you can't play that i'm so busy i get no spare time because you fucking do you just don't <laughs> like to make time for anyone else or or let anyone else in around that and i'm sorry i will pull your pants off about that one because that's not correct you have what time is it? what the are you talking about that the part where you go um where you say when I get some spare time and just because I do want, yeah, chill. I do want to do nothing. Yeah, but that wasn't the only half hour we had in the week. No, but anyway, it was the half had... an hour I wanted. Yes, exactly. There we go. Then that was the half hour I wanted. Just open the gates, for me, please. I have. Um, but yeah, no. So because we had to drive around and then come back, Ethan, I was like, "But what's the matter? Like, what's actually happened? No one's uh, died. It's changed the fucking like, car park yeah, spots four times. Switched instantly. And then the car park spot we did have went." And then I had to park my car on the main road. I don't want to park my car on the fucking main road. And it was just all There too was much. actually parking spaces on this main road, by the way. It wasn't a tight main road. There was still... It's Hornchurch. I don't want people smashing out my car. Well, they wouldn't. It was a very wide road. It's not a country no. road. Anyway, fuck but, that. But, yeah, no. I just, I just think... I was impatient yesterday. That's what happened. Yeah, but it's a fact you turn around. What's the matter? You. you. <laughs> like, he said it from the depths you. of his core. The fuck have I done? You. Excuse <laughs> me. No, you just look to blame, but your emotions, <laughs> you really, really need help balancing. So it will do you a lot of good if you can just breathe in and breathe out and go, that's not a big deal. 
okay, we'll go and find a sandwich shop. That's not a big fucking deal. You've not lost a limb. What, You've not crashed a Lamborghini, have you? You've had to get in it and That's drive big, it again. Big deal, man. Ruin my morning, big time. You need to Proper. inhale and exhale. That was like a, a day. I would say you're, you're a toxic trait because I said she was wearing a day car. spoiler. I said, you need to learn how to not do that because I don't want you teaching that down. Yeah, no, then that's One minor but... thing that goes wrong does not determine that big of a bad mood. It ruined my day. This one said, that's what you don't teach. <laughs> you get it, over it. It ruined my day. You go, it's not, it's not a bad, you just go, it's not a big deal. I'm done. That's it. Sure. Uh, yeah, all right, next up, what is your apology language? Good thing to discuss is a lot of couples don't last due to different apology languages. Since when has this ever been? I've never heard about apology this language. It's got to be love language. Uh, no, it's not. Decide which of the uh, below you you are. All right, okay. So apparently there are five different types of apology right. language. Uh, expressing regret. The no. simple act of saying, I'm sorry, while it sounds obvious, many people allow pride or guilt to get in the way of this kind of apology. You don't say sorry. Yeah, I'm not because of pride or guilt though. Sometimes I'm you just say, like, point blank, I'm going to be front. People aren't going to like this. I'm possibly not sorry. I think I've no, seen a bigger picture, say, but I say I'll apologise because I understand <laughs> an apology is new, needed. Therefore, I apologise. I think apologies and being sorry are two very different things. If your dog's died, I'm so sorry that's happened to you. If I'm actually wrong, I've hurt you. I'm so sorry. However, we've had a bit of a bicker. I don't actually think you're right. I apologise. This has happened. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm, re I'm regretful about the situation. I'm just not sorry. <laughs> It's true. I'm uh, sorry. Two, accepting responsibility occurs when someone earnestly admits that they were wrong to do what they did, along with acknowledging your fault in the situation. Oh, no, I can't do that. I yeah. that was me. Sorry. Right. Three, making resti restitution. Finding a way to correct the situation. This is a common apology scenario. If something is lost, broken, or damaged, and the apologizer offers to replace the item or pay for the inconvenience, it can also occur in more serious situations if a person is deeply betrayed and the person who did it makes it up to them. Yeah. Um, well, if I broke something because someone else is so sorry, I'll replace yeah, but of it. Of course, yeah. That, that's just common courtesy. I feel like that's not like... Oh, no. If something happened emotionally, I'm very very scarred by them sort of things because I, I, I don't know I find it hard to move on from them points personally because I feel like if someone's thrown a dagger yeah. you scar it don't just heal perfectly and nothing I don't know what you said it's got way so too deep it's here. not it's not oh, I so, don't know it's t this was just talking about but I was going to get to the end wasn't I right. you can't just bring up a segment and then say don't fucking talk about it we're on a podcast <laughs> what the fuck do you want me to do go on, it's like the bed show is it go on, then. Come on, well then. I don't fucking know anymore <laughs> I'd possibly just say emotionally I probably wouldn't make it up to them sure next fucking one then you All answer right. this time uh, genuinely repenting genuinely changing your behaviour with this apology language saying sorry is not enough engage in problem solving don't make excuses make a better specific plan for change what are you looking at me for go on <laughs> she's got the right up what even just because happened? you asked me to an like answer we're on a podcast talk about it it wasn't goes, the question it was though that's what i heard i'm not reading it there's only so much i can retain from one fucking but I didn't long ask bit of question. okay sure then i don't know why you're looking at me then that's not question. Uh, requesting forgiveness allows the other person time to process their hurt before assuming everything is back to normal saying i'm so sorry for letting you down can you find it in your heart to forgive me places the power back into the hands of the hurt party. Whilst most people won't refuse an apology altogether, if it does leave room for them to make ex exceptions, including the need for repentance or restitution. It's all a bit too deep. Yeah. I think... I I like a little just I'm sorry. I'll whack out and I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, but I do think I have... Uh, I've I've got better at the genuinely repenting where mm -hmm. I actually do try and make a specific plan to be better. Mm -hmm. Hence episode 29. Yeah. So in some terms I do do that. Mm -hmm. But most times it is just that I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm quite good at doing it instantly now as well. Before I used to let it fucking like simmer for ages, but now I'm, I think... Yeah, yeah, but we've said this before and we've done loads of like TikTok audios to it. The person who starts the most arguments over silly things oh it's me it's Ethan so it mostly is you saying sorry isn't it yeah I don't think I cause pe petty arguments there's definitely things I say that you don't like but then I think you're in a bad mood uh, sometimes you, you can you, be sensitive you say lots of things to, uh, and sometimes you do fuck me off but I'd 
I can't bother getting into it with you because you'll just fuck me off even more. So I just firm it. Thanks. So there's been multiple times where I think I really want to say something to her, but I can't bother for the whole thing. So I just firm it and then crack on. Yeah. I, I hmm. Yeah. You can't say, mm, no, that's what my brain does. It yeah, tells that's me. fine. But <laughs> I know when that happens. I know it's when I ask you to do something, you don't want to do it. No, that, no. That, that and then I say, in... can you fucking do yeah. it? No, but that, I'm just saying, that this I don't, is just petty. Yeah, but I don't think I have give you any other scenarios other than no, helping you do. out. Sometimes you fuck me off and, I, and it's not. Yeah, but fucking it's... off is a different to actual starting arguments. Don't start arguments with you unnecessarily. No, no. But if you Thank did you. do that, I wouldn't be with you. Mm hmm. Like, who just goes around starting fucking arguments? No, but this is... Some girls. no reason. Some girls. But this is what I say. It, it would be like an act of service that need doing. Yeah, mostly. Fuck off. Yeah. These gates, man. I've opened it already, though. Yeah, my phone's still ringing. Um, right. Well. Uh, yeah, I think you give hugs now, which is good. Because mostly... Oh, my <laughs> little me out, brick this, wall of a You've man. done it again somehow. You've made me out to be like this useless, cold-hearted... No. It's not Again. it's not useless and cold hearted. It's emotionally unavailable. No, but I am. Now. <laughs> what? Do you agree or not? What? You're emotionally available now. Sort of, Do yeah. You think you was? Yes. Yeah. 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 Your life depended on it? Yeah. <laughs> well then. Just slightly. Well then. Well, it's good to talk about these things, isn't it? Otherwise you don't grow from it. People just think I'm being a yeah, bitch and rude. Me. But it's not, it's not because <laughs> do you think your mental health not this week, but do you think your mental <laughs> health has gen generally got better by my helping you try and understand and call some situations in the way that you react to them? You you are very good at facing issues very front on and but you're very abrupt in your just putting I understand things out that, there. Because there are sometimes <laughs> I'll just be like <laughs> over it sometimes i need an arm around the shoulder i don't need this beast no but <laughs> mm, i get i think it's just a family that i've been brought up in it's like come on yeah get it over does. it now but um it's not harshly saying it it's more i don't want to give you so much sympathy and help you trickle down into it i want to be like come on <laughs> let's just fucking get over this <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Sure. It's not like it doesn't matter, but I just don't want to deal with you too sensitively because you're sensitive already. Thanks. You okay, then? <laughs> I suppose so, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um, right, anyway, it's we're finished now. Oh, good, that's good. We're finished now. Uh, I do want to say a big thank you to Air Up. Yeah. Yeah, what a lovely beverage. I've nearly caned my whole thing, so yeah. big up Air Up. Staying hydrated. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Uh, details are in the description, so... Click that link to get involved with Air Up. Transform your water drinking experience. If you want to consume clips from the podcast in a shorter format, then make sure to head over to Growing Pains Clips, yep. where you can get all that sort of shindiggery in. And if you want to see our clips taken out of context with some sad music on them, just TikTok. look for TikTok. <laughs> we, we saw, didn't we, recently? Because that end part is going to be like, she's a manipulator. No, I'm trying to help. <laughs> Bro's cooking me. Mm. Um... Like and subscribe. I'm yeah, getting really. I'm, I'm really Rose not. not good at his job. No, right I'm again. I'm ill. Okay, jump me step. My metrics are out. I'm yep, four or go. five metrics out. Okay. <laughs> go on. Let's hear you do it. Okay. Make sure you are following our clips channel, Growing Pains. Make sure you check out our Instagram as we are uploading reels on a Thursday as the episode comes out. So if you want to see what we get up to in the week in picture format, go and look there. Like and subscribe to our. YouTube and then audio listeners rate us five stars. Boom. Boom. Yeah, we're uploading carousels, not reels. Same fucking thing. If no. you was to pause it ten times. <laughs> 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 right. Anyway, yeah. Have a good week, everyone. Uh see you later. Yeah, PS, do love him. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.